Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this video, I want to show you a complete step-by-step -step framework that you can deploy to edit your own YouTube videos. I have edited over 500 different videos in the last two years on my own channel. Video editing is one of the most lucrative freelancing skills that you can learn and you can work with clients around the world and make more than one lakh every single month as a video editor. I will show you the exact steps that I go through whenever I'm editing the video. It's not so much about the tool that you're using but the strategy that you have in your mind and how can you be a smart video editor that's what we'll figure out in this video make sure that you watch till the end there will be timestamps throughout this video that you can jump to and that will give you a glimpse of exactly how can you properly effectively edit a youtube video i particularly will be using final cut pro which is a video editing software that you can use on Mac or Apple devices, but you can use whatever software that you want. The tools keep changing, but the basic idea of editing a video remains the same. So that's what I'll be teaching you in this complete video and you will have a lot of fun along the way as well. Let's get started. Just before that, I just want to quickly mention that it takes a lot of effort to, you know, record and edit and put out all of these videos about all of the freelancing skills and how can you learn all of these things. It would really mean a lot to me if you can share this video with a friend of yours or just you know tag me on social at Ishan Sharma 7390 uh, but that's pretty much all I want to say let's head into my laptop and get work done today we are editing a video titled five ways to make money as a college student the raw footage is about 28 minutes long I'll show you exactly how I store everything how do I process everything so first of all whenever I record a video I record it using this camera called as the Sony ZV-1 I got it from OLX for about 55,000 rupees and it has been working really well. So this is what my laptop screen looks like. First of all, we will go into the SSD. So whenever I record a video, it gets recorded in the SD card of this camera from which I'm shooting it. I take that footage and I then transfer it into my SSD. So there is a SSD plug to my laptop right now. It's called as the SanDisk one terabyte SSD. I have this three folder setup. So one is recorded videos, then you have shots and then you have uploaded videos. So that's what this looks like as you can see right here. And uh, we will just click on five easy ways to make money and there is just one video. The reason I don't have an audio file separately is because the audio input from this mic goes directly into this camera and into this video. So I don't need to separately have two different files. But this is what the video looks like. It's about 28 minutes strong that I recorded right here in this room. So what I'll do is that I'll just open up Final Cut Pro. So this is what the Final Cut Pro interface looks like. The first thing you need to do is to start a new library whenever you're starting a new project. So you just click on library, you select the location where you want to put this. So I generally like to keep it in the exact same folder in which I have the footage. So I'll go to five easy ways to make money and I will just save this over here. The name can be an untitled one, doesn't really matter. Then we will have this new event created for us. So then you create a project. So think of it like a tree, right? First of all, you have the library, then you have the event, and then you have the project underneath it. You can have multiple projects in the same event, and you can have multiple events under the same library. That's basically how this works. So I'll click on project, and I'll make a simple project that will be inside of this event right here. The next part is for me to put in all of my footage into this project. I'll just put this on the timeline. So first of all, you have this timeline. As you can see, the area where you have this uh, huge video timeline in front of you, right? You can see the timing denoted over here as well from zero uh, all the way till 2730. And then what you have is this section. This is a section wherein you can see all of your raw footage. Not only uh, you can see the videos, you can also see sounds that you've added. You can add your own pictures. You can add whatever uh, content that you want to put inside of the video. You can add all of that over here. The next section that you can see is this area where you can see all the video element playing. The next section is this one. So this is where you would have all the options to alter things inside of your video, right? So let's just say you want to uh, maybe zoom in so you can zoom in over here. You have the scale option. Maybe you want to crop so you can crop through right, left, top, bottom. Uh, so you can do all of that like this. Then you also have opacity so you can make it less opaque, more opaque. 
up to you whatever it is that you are editing the next part is the volume right so here you can increase or decrease the volume as you can see in this uh, timeline you will see that many a times the audio is touching the yellow and the red area right the red area is the danger part you should not be hearing such loud noises and because of that i will have to lower this so i'll just go to volume section and i'll just do it like minus five decibels and then it should work fine. The next step is to then create the first rough cut of your video. So, you know, the smart way to edit videos is to have multiple revisions. The first one is going to be to create a rough edit in which all the places where I have stammered, all the places in which I am not able to speak properly or I have reset the same thing, I will remove all of that and I will have my first cut. I will fast forward this video so that you don't have to wait for that long. But just to show you how the cut really works, let's just say that you want to start playing. So you just take this this brush that you have you'll put it over here then you'll just click on play so as you can see i'm just going here i'm just sitting on the chair i don't need to show all of this in my video because it has to be to the point so i'll just go to any point like here and i can have a uh, cut in this timeline so to do that i'll use Control plus b that's a shortcut that you use Control b and through that you can create a cut so now i can select this part of the timeline and this part of the video i can just click over here and i can click on delete and then that part is deleted i need to trim it from this part till the part where i have this brush so i need to click on option plus this bracket and it trims all of that part and it ripple edits right ripple trim so basically what happens is the that part gets deleted and the video that is next to it gets clubbed with the previous video so that's basically how this works now i'll continue doing this for the rest of the video until i have the rough cut with me All right. Hi everyone. I have just finished the first cut, which is the rough cut. So now this is the ideal footage that I have out of that 28 minutes. I cut down all the footage that was not required. And right now we have about 15 minutes, 30 seconds worth of footage with me for this whole video. The next step is to put in what I call as footage. These can be pictures, these can be videos, these can be stock footages as well that you want to put throughout the video. The second cut is all about visuals. The third cut is going to be about typography, right? That's what we'll be focusing on. One more thing, while I was cutting down all the unnecessary part in the rough cut, I used the L key to fast forward my play, the video playback. So when you click on L, it uh, makes it 2x. Number two, I will also be zooming in and zooming out. So after the rough cut, before I do the visuals, the next step for me is to have a look at the zoom in, zoom out part. So what happens is that sometimes when I make a cut, the cut can be abrupt. I want the video to be more drastic or whatever it is I'm talking about, it should be bold whenever I'm talking about it, right? Maybe a phrase, maybe start of a new section of the video. So I wanted to have a bigger impact in the mind of the person. So I zoom in whenever I'm doing that. So that's what I'll be doing right now in this whole video. I'll try to zoom in, zoom out. I'll try to use keyframes. So, you know, with the help of keyframes, what you basically do is from point A to point B, it will show you a gradual increase in the scale of the video. So it will go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then it'll, it'll reach 100. How do you zoom in for a video? So let's just say there's a cut right here. As you can see, this was the main video. It starts over here. So what I will do is that I will just have a zoom in. I will just use a simple zoom in for this. So I can just say maybe 130% and I can use the position framework. So with this, I can alter the X and Y position of the video. So I have just used Y and video was a niche sarka diya, right? That's basically what I've done. I can use X axis as well with which video will move in this uh, axis. So that's what I have done over here. So now if I will play this, that is what the video will look like. So right now I'll just do that. Zoom in, zoom out, fill part. Puri video me karta hu. The second part would be to add the visuals. So I pixels ja sakta hu. I have many websites hai from which I can get some stock footages, and I will put that. I can also put in photos, right? So let's just say I talked about Canva. Ke mein. Toh, Canva ka logo jo hota hai, wo main dal sakta hu. And that will just add more. The video is good basically, right? So when I'm talking about something, the photo has come here, the text has written here. That just makes it even better. So I'll just do that right now while you take a look at the editing montage.
The next step is to put the footage, the photos, videos, or any other assets that I want to have in the videos. I'll just do that right now. Then we'll focus on the typography. I'll just open up Pexels and we would just search over here, virtual assistant use this footage for example so i'll just download this and once this is downloaded we can import it into our own project so this is basically how you would be able to download a footage from the internet a video or a photo and import it into your own project and just place it right above the part at which you're talking about that and uh, i just put the footage of someone working in front of the laptop in front of the computer so that it looks like a virtual assistant so that's basically how this works i will just do that right now for the rest of the video wherever i find that there should be uh, footage for the thing that i'm talking about over there so let me just do that right now <laughs> Hi everyone, so the first cut is done, the zoom in zoom out is done, the footage that I had to put in is also done. I have kept it really minimalistic, I can add a lot more footage if I want to, but I don't want to do that because I want to upload the video right now, so this is a very minimalistic edit. Uh, what I have to do now is going to be to put in all the text. How do you put a text? There are various uh, ways in which you can do that. So basically, if you want to put a text, let me just choose this part. So to enter a text, I normally use control plus T that gets me the text uh, element. So I'll just do that and I'll have this basic element over here. I'll click on this and I can go over here and I can add some text. I can say, uh, let's just say five ways to make money. I can increase the size of this like that. I can choose the font. Um, so let's just say I want to make it com Comic Alexis so I can do that as well. I can choose the style. I can go down and I can rotate it if I want to like this. You can, you can edit the way this thing actually looks. You can also change the color of this text. So you can click on this. You can make it green if you want to. Make it magenta or whatever color suits best for you i can select certain parts so that this is make money and i can change the color to green five ways to make money right that's basically what we can do with the help of this right here you can also put in some animation whenever the text appears in the screen what we'll do here is we can just go to this part which says transitions and we will look for movements so as you can see this is a lot slower we can make it faster i'll just choose it and I'll reduce the duration of this thing let's check this yeah, this is looking much better. So this is basically how you would do it. You can use templates that will make your process of editing a video a lot simpler, right? Just to give you an example, I bought the one year subscription of Envato Elements and that gave me the ability to get access to hundreds and even thousands of different templates that I can use without me needing to actually build them myself because that takes a lot of time. Just to give you an example of what you can do with the help of titles, I will also be using the social media one. So if I'll go down, I can see the social media part. I'll change this to at Ishan Sharma 7390. So this is the social media banner or like call to action to follow me over there on Instagram. So here I'm saying I'll make sure that you hit the like button as well. So I'll just go down in the generator section. I have the trendy, I have the YouTube subscription animation. So I'll just pull this out and I'll put it over here and I can place it right at this point. I'll just continue this for the rest of the video so that you don't have to watch it over and over again. All right, we are done with the rough cut, zoom in, zoom out, the footage, as well as typography. The next step is sound design. I will just be using a pop sound effect for the text whenever it will be coming into the screen. And that's what I will be doing for the rest of the video. Then we'll export and we'll upload it on YouTube. So I'll quickly get this done and then we'll be over with this edit. All right, so the sound is also done. The next step is going to be to click over this option, share, and then click on master file. And then we will click on next and we will save it in the SSD that we had over here as well. And I'll just call this as five ways to make money. We'll click on save 
and this is now exporting. It should take roughly four or five minutes for this thing to get exported. Then we'll upload it on the YouTube channel. And that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. This video link I'll put in the description if you want to check how the video was edited finally. You can have a look at that. This was just a very simple edit. I could have gone a lot more complex into it. This is what the timeline looks right now. It's fairly simple. I can add a lot more elements like icons and other complex things, but I want to keep this simple for you in this video. I don't want this to be too complex for you. So that's what we have done. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Please share this video with your friends. Tag me on social, Ishan Sharma 7390. You can use other tools as well. You can use online video editors as well, but the idea remains the same. Go step by step so that everything will be a lot easier for you to understand. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.